clove hitch is not simply used to attach a rope to an object like a stick. One of the specific applications that I use it for, you see here, this is my beaver stick that I use. It's the anchor for my minnow traps. So this stick will simply be attached to one end of the rope, minnow trap attached to the other end. This stick, I just drive it into the mud or stick it into some vegetation, some branches to lodge it. And then that's my anchor for my minnow trap overnight. Another specific application I use this for is as a starting knot when tying a rope to roof racks. This will be the first knot I tie, the starting knot. The benefit of the clove hitch is that it is a very secure knot. So much so that I'll use it to tie odd shaped objects to a rope such as a rock. I can find a rock in the middle of the woods, tie it to a rope. If I want to throw a rope over a branch it'll be my throwing weight. So the benefit, very secure knot. Now, two applications, sorry, two, two forms of the clove hitch. This one is going to be clove hitch over an open-ended object. We have an open end of the stick. We can slip the knot over that. Sometimes you will not have an open end and you need to tie the clove hitch onto an object and we'll look at that separately. To create the clove hitch that's going to go over the open end of an object, Start with your hands about 12, 16 inches apart, anywhere along the rope where it's convenient to tie this knot. And the first thing you're going to do, step one, take the right hand, move it towards your body and to the left, and then meet your left hand. Pinch with your left hand and hold. You've created a closed loop, hold that with your left hand. The right hand's going to slide back to the right. This is step two, and repeat step one. The rope moves in towards your body and to the left. You've created a second loop. What you have here is two loops. One is closer to your body, one is farther away from your body. Take the one that's closest to your body and we're gonna pivot it to the right and go around behind the other one so that it is now behind or farther away from you. So essentially the two loops have just changed places. Now this is what we're gonna take and slip over the open end of the object. And when you bind it down, you have two parallel lines, one leading off in this direction, one leading off in the opposite direction, and you have a diagonal cross piece. So that is your clove hitch that you can tie over the end of an open object, the open end of an object. All right, to repeat that again, we're gonna start with our hands a certain distance apart, right hand comes towards the body and to the left, creates a closed loop. Right hand slides to the right, Repeat step one, it comes towards the body and to the left, creates a closed loop. One loop is close to us, one loop is farther away from us. Take the loop that is closest to you, pivot it around the other one so it's in behind, it's now farther away from you. Take that, pass it over the open end of the object, firm it up, and there you have two parallel lines, one leading off in each direction and a diagonal cross piece. If you looked at the back side, this is all you see are two parallel lines on the back side of the object. So one more time, we'll create that. Have your hands comfortably apart, 12 inches, 16 inches, depends on the size of the object, depends on the size of the loop you're gonna make. Right hand comes towards the body and to the left, meets up with the left hand, creates a closed loop. Right hand slides to the side, make another loop. The one that's closest to you, gets shifted behind so it's now farther away from you. Pass that over the open end of the object so that now you have two parallel lines, one leading off in each direction and you have a diagonal cross piece that traps them both in place which is what causes it to be very secure. Now as often we do you can secure that with a half hitch. In that case I've just done a half hitch on a bite because the end of the rope is not nearby, so that would be my security for the clove hitch.